Hello and welcome to this episode of Mommy Sea Star. Today we're going to talk about one of my favorite things, which is gardening for butterflies. And this behind me is my butterfly garden that is pretty new and we're already getting visitors to it. So I'm going to tell you some basics to get you started if you want to start a butterfly garden of your own. Butterfly gardens are a great way to help out the animals that live all around us. And it, they're also really useful in teaching people about nature and about life and life cycles. Here you can see a fifth instar caterpillar. It's a monarch caterpillar. Fifth instar means it's almost ready to molt and become a chrysalis. And you can see him eating away at this milkweed. Monarch caterpillars only eat milkweed. You can see the bright stripes of black and yellow and white on him and that means that birds need to not eat him. A lot of times animals have bright colors warning predators that they're poisonous. The milkweed is a poisonous plant. When the caterpillar eats the milkweed it becomes poisonous too. So these are some of the things you can learn about when you're gardening for butterflies. When deciding where you're going to put your butterfly garden, it's important that you choose a sunny location. It doesn't have to be big. You can see that I have just a small pot here and I have room for lots of different plants. It's important to observe what kinds of butterflies live in your area. Obviously, we have monarchs in our area, which is why I bought this silky milkweed. But you might have different kinds of butterflies where you live. And once you know what kind of butterflies live at your house, you'll be able to research what kinds of plants they need. Milkweed is a larval food source for the monarch butterfly. That means that the larvae, the caterpillar, eat milkweed and the adult monarch will only lay her eggs on milkweed because that's what the caterpillars can eat. When you're researching your butterflies in your area, look up and see what their caterpillars need to eat and plant those plants in your garden. Then you'll be sure to get some visitors of your own. Milkweed is great for monarchs because it not only feeds their caterpillars with the leaves, it also feeds the adults with the nectar from the beautiful flowers that it makes. In your butterfly garden, you will want to provide food for the adult butterflies as well. Asters are great annual flowers. Annuals are flowers that last for one year. You can also plant things like Buddleia and Lantana. These are perennials and last many years. When you're planting a butterfly garden, you're helping nature and you're helping the animals in your environment. You're also helping humans to see the beauty that's all around them. It's amazing to realize that these little spots are butterflies. They're eggs that are ready to hatch. <laughs> 